Good morning guys, how you doing? This is Emil with Speedlane Garage and today I have a very special video for you that's something that I learned myself recently and um, it will definitely help you guys um, when needing to pass inspections. Um, the One of the biggest issues is when you fix your car and then you reset your monitors, you have to complete drive cycle to allow all the monitors on your car to set for inspection to pass or for the computers to um, scan your car and see that there are no issues and everything is working accordingly in order for you to pass inspection. In my case, we are in New York, so it is very strict and um, you have to make sure that all your monitors are correct, that everything works accordingly. And uh, before you take it in, you have to make sure that Let's see, let's go back to the ECU, your engine module. So for New York, we are allowed one incomplete module. So for example, you have eight in this car, you can have one incomplete, it doesn't matter which one, as long as one of them is incomplete, you still will pass. And I mean, in my case, we have all eight of them completed, but I'm gonna delete the codes if there are any and all these are going to go back to um, failed or incomplete so let's quickly do this before the video gets too long so you have a bunch of codes you fix them blah 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 clear the codes press yes go back readiness now we only have three that are complete and a bunch of them are incomplete so we're going to run really quick go back go to basic settings go to automatic test procedure, press go. Your next step, oh, we have to reset the engine. All right, so the engine's reset. So we're gonna stop, go back, exit the controller. You have to do this every single time. Again, readiness, um, one, two, three. Okay, so one already passed while I was idling. So we need to set four more. So instead of driving anywhere, we're just gonna do automatic test procedure. So to operate this, you have to press brake pedal and accelerator pedal. So press brake pedal, accelerator pedal all the way and hold them together. So the test is running currently and your RPMs will be going up and down, up and down, while the test is, um, runs. So we're just gonna sit there and watch this do its thing. Again, throughout this process, all you have to do is just hold brake pedal and gas pedal together and you hold them throughout the whole entire process. If you release a brake pedal or a gas pedal, the test aborts and then you have to start all over, meaning you will have to reset the car and reset your VCDS and start all over. So make sure to hold brake pedal and gas pedal tightly. So this is a really good way to um, allow people to pass inspections in various states that require you to have every single monitor complete before you can get your sticker. So in my case, I've been, for the longest time, I've been performing drive cycles on these cars. And I recently found out about this trick because one of our friends from Facebook, Chuck, he um, commented on my post saying that, hey, why don't you just complete these tests using the VCDS, which I wasn't aware of, unfortunately, because I feel like a lot of us, we use this software at only like 20% capacity, while the software does a lot more than what we usually use it for. And um, me included, I've been using it for basically scanning to um, codes and running a couple settings and then, you know, checking live data, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, on the older cars, like a B5, B6, B7, A4s, S4s, yada, yada, um, 
it allows you to set monitors using the script that they provide in um, readiness uh, block. So I've been using that for a while and it was, it's been great, but on these B8 models, the newer cars, um, the script is not available, so you can't run the test. But in basic settings, you have a bunch of tests you can run. Now you can run them one by one, you know, if you would like to set your EVAP or something, you can open it and test your purge valve or test your pressure valve. Um, if you have a catalytic converter that's in question, then you can run your, you know, O2 sensors, your primary or secondary sensor or the cat um, integrity. So like you can do one by one or you can just do automatic test procedure and just have them done all at once. And this is a great way to check if your car has any issues after you finish repairing it. So we focus a lot on engine rebuilds at my shop. So um, a lot of times a customer will bring you a car that has not been tested or driven because the engine failed due to timing or other issues. So I have no idea what type of issues this car had prior to failure. So a lot of times, you know, you'll rebuild an engine and put it all back together and start it and then O2 sensor codes pop on. And I have no idea whether it was something that happened on our watch or something that happened before because I was not able to um, test the car. So this is a great way to test vehicles after they've been repaired or after um, it's been sitting for a while with a dead battery. Um, and also if you have this this is a catalytic converter getting tested. Um, if you have a VCDS or a VACCOM, this is perfect way to um, check your vehicle before purchasing it. So like if you go to somebody's house and you wanna buy a car and the car has been sitting um, whole winter without a battery, this is a great way for you to run a test on their vehicle to make sure there's no issues and that they will pass inspection and if there is issues if there are any issues um, the system will tell you what they are and you can tell the seller that hey you know um, your catalog converter is not working properly or like hey your uh, thermostat is stuck stuck open or something so you can use that to your advantage when you're negotiating um, with the seller but for me this is a great way to to do this um, after the car has been sitting for a while and the battery has been off or dead or whatever and then you can quickly run a test to make sure your um, monitors are all within spec so so here we go um, the test has been completed finished correctly end of system test system okay so release brake pedal release gas pedal stop go done and then readiness so now we have every single one of them passed so yeah so this is the way to do it if you would like to do um, these tests without needing to drive your vehicle. Um, I hope this helps somebody and I'm about to go have breakfast. Have a good day.